There we go. Oh. Oh, I feel like I've threaded it. What's up guys, welcome back to Tapic Nurse. As you can see here, I have the quad lock motorcycle handlebar mount that I'll be putting onto my handlebars here. Um, I literally just got it and I need to go somewhere, so I need to do this quick. So let's have a look. It's literally just an unboxing with you guys. This is the first time I'm seeing it. And nice, oh, let's go. So because I don't have the normal motorcycle handlebar. I did buy like a cheap eBay um, adapter mount thing that you can put onto the to where the mirrors used to go. So I'm just gonna undo that, put that there, and voila, nice, cool. I might use this little hex key to just get a leverage on it. Oh, maybe not. But seems like it's tight enough. Cool. So as you can see my I forgot to cover my X Max so it's got a little bit of water stains on it. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Is this gonna fit here? I need the adapter. Right. Cool. I am you might notice that I'm literally rushing through this because I have to get to, to somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's undo that. Okay, so now I can get access to the clamp here. Boom, right. Then maybe a 28 mil clamp. Let's see, so that's the 25, the 28. Is that gonna clamp? No, we need the bigger one. So we need the 22. Hopefully, one of these clamps work because otherwise I am stuck really. Right, let's go. Oh yes, nice. So I'm using the 22 mil one, um, the very, the smallest mount there. Uh, right, so we need to put it like this so that the phone it's facing me actually let me mount it upside down yeah there we go then rotate it cool it's literally a live live set of me installing this make sure the washer is in like that right i'm not too sure what angle as you can see the bike's running as i warm it up which is good Cool. that so that should be that should be nice and secure right. let's tighten this because I'm sure that is the angle that I want my phone to be at oh crap nearly threaded that I think it's 28 25 We'll leave that there for now anyway cool before you use remove okay so i think simply just putting it on like this let's have a look oh lost the alignment there we go yeah i'm gonna need to tighten this up with something um and i'll come back to that but just as a quick installment we can see how well this works so you press the button there lever and voila let's see if I can get some leverage in this somehow nice I think that's gonna do it so because I have the phone case already um, I have the quad lock case and the, the ring stand when I do this it should simply we nice 
the angle is a bit off so let me just do it like this okay oh uh, there we go oh oh i feel like i've threaded it oh well i'm gonna contact their customer service to see if i can get another one that is the installation of the quad lock motorcycle handlebar mounts so we're gonna keep this here the beauty of the x max again with the oh let me put this on there let me put this in my bag here we go okay so a quick first impressions of this handlebar mount um because i'm using an adapter for my x max um, it brings the phone quite close to me um, so it's very easy access in terms of you know seeing what time it is changing the music on your phone um, so i think this is quite handy um, what you can see though is because it's got so many extensions on it the phone is vibrating it shouldn't really be a problem because you're not supposed to be reading anything on your phone anyway especially on a motorcycle so <laughs> It won't sort of blur the image of your uh, maps one bad thing or like you know a quick thing to notice about this is because of the angle of the, the phone it's blocking the speedometer so it's blocking it up to the speed of 50 miles per hour so at least i know i'm not doing a 50 in a 30 but i'm not sure if i'm doing a 30 in a 30 I could be doing a 40 so <laughs> Yeah, something to keep in mind. I do have to like move my head slightly just to get um, view of the speedometer. But other than that, it seems to be okay. Let's listen to some Chris Brown. Now I can change music anytime I want. Because I'm using my AirPods at the moment for um, music or navigation instruction. So it's good to be able to change the settings or directions on the fly but yeah as you saw earlier i did sort of thread that um, thing there so i'm going to contact customer service to see if um, i can get another one of those bolts one thing to note about this is you can obviously use the hard buttons to to adjust the volume of your music or directions um, but if you want to use the screen um, you have to have gloves that uh, touch screen compatible uh, for me what I'm doing at the moment is squeezing the gloves under my under my leg like this to free up my hand from the gloves so I can pause it press play and obviously unlock and because I'm on my phone um, it has the face ID so you would have to input the code as well um, and then to put my gloves on I just slip it in do a little push <laughs> So it's not the best idea to do that um, at high speeds, but maybe on 30 miles, 40 miles per hour roads like this, um, it's doable. Okay, so I'm actually on the way to the bike shed over in Shoreditch um, to watch the MotoGP. I've been invited by one of the grommers that I met uh, the other day, um, Carl. So I'll probably put out this video after we put the ride that we went on together anyway. I'm kind of late, but I'm on my way, so I'll see you there in a bit. 